Dear General Antonio de Leyva, I'm leading a punitive expedition against the Comanche Indians because they have been raiding the house. I've already arranged help from the Ute Indians and the Apache, but I will also need around 800 Spanish soldiers armed and ready for battle. Sincerely, Juan Batista de Anza. November 22nd, 1778. My army and I have started an expedition to catch the Comanche Indians who have been raiding Taos. I'm in San Luis Valley entering the Great Plains, and I'm planning on finding them and giving them what they deserve. November 24th, 1778. I'm circling El Capitan like a buzzard looking for its next meal. I have been informed their location is close to El Capitan, and I will not rest until I find them. Later today, November 24th, 1778, I have found them. I found the Comanches. At the moment, I am chasing them down Fountain Creek, and it looks like we're going to cross the Arkansas River. I shall never see the day when they escape me. I, I must punish them for their sins. November 25th, 1778. Those rotten Indians led us to their camp. The Comanches are less smart than I thought, which is a great advantage to me when I slaughter those dirty thieves. Later today, November 25th, 1778. We are entering the camp. There are only about 50 of them, and it seems that the leaders are not as protected as they should be. I'm watching them preparing for a battle, but when I hear it, they're coming, they're coming, who's coming, they asked, that's when I knew I must charge at them, and soon we were fighting, sword to hummock, talk, gun to bow and arrow, soon they start dropping, and soon my troops start to fall too, after what seems like hours, the battle was done, and we were victorious. I've killed Chief Colonel Verde and many other Comanche leaders while my soldiers were picking off the lower ranked Indians one at a time. We got most of the Indians, but some ran away like the cowards they are. February 28, 1786. I have not written here for a while and for that I apologize but I am a very busy man. I'm still the governor in New Mexico and a full-time army commander but I'm writing in this right now because the Comanches that got away and made more people have come back to get revenge and they keep reading Taos. I've just signed a peace treaty with the Comanches. I'm already regretting that I signed it. But it was the only way to get them to not raid Taos. If my citizens were unfraid and happy, then I was unfraid and happy.